All right, listen. That's uh, <laughs> that's actually another YouTuber explaining the same in a little bit. You guys check his YouTube channel. His actual content's actually really good. Before I begin this, Mark watch from the because it was pretty funny. Uh, there's the YouTuber Grand Championship, the Mocha League for you small YouTubers. If you guys want to go out there and check it out, go on Timo's channel and check it out and they explain it more in details. I think you have to have a YouTube channel for like six months. The guy's name is YGO Trolley. He actually sounds a lot better. Hey guys, I just want to quickly apologize for the spamming. Of he sounds a lot better actually on his content. So definitely go check him out. Uh, I was just having a couple of laughs. <laughs> Anyway, guys, let's go right into the Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch! Uh, by the way, guys, if you don't know about Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watches, uh, I'm supposed to do it early, early today. I decided to drop one later on tonight, uh, um, you know, talking about what cards are going to be out and whatnot. So, we have Pendulum Evolution. The booster box is $36. Blah, but there's no value. There's, just, I mean, Perform, perform Power Skull, Crowback Joker it was, like, remember that one was like $10 for the OTS pack one? Yeah, it's fun times. Uh, it, now it's coming in about $2.72. Pendulum Course coming in about $1.23. And everything else is like a dollar. Everything else is a dollar. And then we have Pentium Evolution Booster Box here for $36. I, I mean, I guess you open every pack, sell everyone those cards for a dollar, you might make negative $6. So, yeah, look, look for losing money when you buy one of these boxes. Up next, Dual Saga Booster Displays are actually going lower in price. They're like $99 bucks for the longest while. And even they're a little lower in price because what do we have here? We have Trishula for $372. We have MX7 Vulga for $1.58. Uh, Solemn Warning, $332. You know, we have nothing. And I, I, I think the. The Sellers, uh, YJL Bark, and Serenity uh, uh, Hobbies, Collector Story, LLC. I think they realize, they're realizing that you, you just can't sell these boxes. You can't hand these out anymore. The time of these boxes are 100% gone. The market price is no longer going to be $111.78. It's not happening anymore. Up next, Maximum Crisis. Special Edition Displays coming in about $63.98, which is actually not bad. I mean, you got Ash Blossom from Joy of Spring, which is pretty good money. Someone commented in one of my videos saying, hey man, the first edition Ash Blossom was going up. But the unlimited is going down. So Ash Blossom is actually going up. No, Ash Blossom is still going down. If you could buy Ash Blossom, I mean, whether it's first edition or not first edition, it doesn't matter. This is, I mean, you're not doing this for value. You're not doing this to collect the card. You're doing this to have Ash Blossom. Am I correct in this? So by saying that, the Ash Blossom Joy of Spring Unlimited, even though it's the unlimited, it's still $39.49. It's still relatively low. I think Ash Blossom is a good card to have. I think this is the time you need to pick it up because it's going to be seen play in our future meta. And this is the lowest it's going to be. But with that said, Ash Blossom is still $39. I know for edition, uh, you said it went up a little bit, but here it is at $39.60. I don't know where, where you got that information from. I think at the time, it was, um, first edition was like $43, bucks, but now it went, even that went down because I followed the unlimited printing. Up next, Draconic Diagram. This is insane. $35. $35 for Draconic Diagram. And I mean, right after that, it's $39.94, so it, it's about a $5 difference. Uh, well, $36 for those who want to include shipping, but it's about like a $4 or $5 difference for Ash uh, Draconic Diagram. People are freaking out, saying, hey, September's going to come. This is going to get hit. I just want to remind you guys, uh, Zoot, it took a while to hit Zoot. And it might take a while to hit cards like your Dragonic Diagram and all the true Draco cards. So, this don't be surprised if we get this ban in September and there's no fucking true Draco shit hit. There's nothing. Just don't be surprised. That's all I'm going to say. Because a lot of people are going to be losing their mind. Oh, this is not fair. Boo hoo. -hoo. Guys, we're in pendulum format. They, Konami can literally not hit any of this and release some new stuff that just blows us out the water. They've done it before in the past. This is not new for all of us Yu-Gi-Oh players. So if this doesn't get hit, I'm not going to be surprised whatsoever. If Zoo doesn't get pile dropped, I'm still not going to be surprised. Will it be in the balance? I think it will. But I don't think it's going to be hit as hard as players think it's going to be hit. Masterpiece Trudeau saying <clears throat> King. Gonna be about 12 13 bucks, so hey, it's not, I think that's that's the bottom number was 12 dollars for, for masterpiece. I think after that point, it's gonna either move up or remain around 12 dollars. Uh, Tornado Dragon, nine bucks, so it's, it's, it's staying on the eight nine dollar mark for Tornado Dragon, still a great card. Duels Alliance, a ten dollar for every Duels Alliance. At one point, it was twenty dollars, now that seven dollars, to be honest with you, even seven dollars is too much for this card because even though the card's a great card on Pendulum Dot Decks, it's still not going to see play, especially with Link format. I really don't think it's going to see play. I want Pendulum to see play. I don't think they're going to see play. On Ending Nightmare, is six dollars. This card is so fucking good. If you don't have this card right now, you're insane. I don't know what you're planning planning on as far as your future, your game saying, your meta. But six bucks for our Ending Nightmare, this card is broken. Yeah, no, you should have this already. Now, Supreme King's New York was like a two dollar card, and it went to four thirty one. I think it's Magician Pendulum, and people starting to play that. Uh, Ultra Polymerization, once again, nobody's looking at it. It's three sixteen, still good cards for a good price. Definitely good investment, and I think that's really as far as that. Oh, another card, uh, Scorpio, sixty four cents. I just, I don't know, I like the card. I, I have my own play set, so if you guys want to go going on this, go ahead. I'm going in on this. 
Up next, Fusion of Forces. Let's talk about Invocations. It's starting to come down a little bit, actually. We'll look at that in two seconds. Well, Invoke Mechaba. Wow, it, it's still pretty high. You know, these are only two cards you really care about. Everything else, you just, nobody cares about. Nobody really cares. I mean, four bucks for Magical Meltdown. Wow, it's okay. Sure. Uh, Invocations is actually starting to go on a downtrend right here in price range. It's about $33. Up next, we have uh, Invoke Mechaba, which went down but then started to stabilize, and now it's stabilizing around 24 bucks roughly. So that's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm not sure if these cards are going to go up in value. I get PMs daily <laughs> by people going, hey man, should I, should I pull the trigger on this deck? Should I buy this? So I'm getting to get ready for this. And, and I mean, my, my advice to you is if you have it, sure. But if you don't have it, it's a lot of money to be wasting on, on a deck that you might not be good with. You might see yourself playing something like Tricksters or something amongst uh, the, you know any kind of new meta like that coming in an upcoming set. So it's really up to you as far as if you can play this. If you can play it and you have the money to throw around, sure. I mean, I literally, I, I'm playing the deck, but it doesn't mean it's the right deck to play. Up next, Battle Legends Last Revenge. Look at that. 68 bucks for the box. That's fucking cheap. Uh, I showed you guys on eBay, and someone asked a question in the comment section below also. They're like, hey, Minerva in uh, German is a little more money than the English Minervas. The cards in German are a little more money than the cards in English. And I was like, yes! Yes! Because Germans, German cards, trans German uh, cards or all cards in other languages for that matter besides Korean because you can't play them. Um, they have value, more value than the English cards. Not only do they have more value than English cards, I mean, yeah, you might have a little bit of trouble selling them, but as far as trading them, you can trade them for a lot of shit. You can trade them for a ton of stuff, and you can get great value out of those trades. So, what I just showed you, like, the Swap Book of Secrets in German, the Blue Boys in German, for two bucks a piece, that's a good deal. Get those cards, go to your locals, go to your regionals, throw them in your binder, and watch people go apeshit for that. Watch people value those $2 cards out of like 6s and 8s. I guarantee you there's someone out there right now who would trade at value for 6 to $8 for those cards you pay $2 on. I'm just trying to give you guys information and show you guys what I do, and I know what other vendors do, and I know what other players do. To get crazy good trades is by buying those uh, all the foreign language cards for cheap, especially something new like Battle of Legends Nice Revenge. Remember, it's coming in about $10. Omega's still holding the $7. I think it was $8, actually. It might have went down a little bit. Sage with Eyes of Blue went up a little bit. She's around the $6 mark. Crystal Wing Singer went down a little bit. He's around the $5 to $6 mark. And the rest of these cards, I mean, you know, you got Gaku Soldier, Soldier, which is $4.90. Denko Seko, which is about $3. Great card, by the way. Uh, Trishula, $2.49. I mean, amazing, amazing, you know, price for a Trishula. Really good. Artifact Signal, which, it, I mean, I... This is one of the cards Konami has to hit. This artifact side that you have to hit one of the other. In my opinion, I think I think Sanctum should be hit because that makes side useless. But I can see side getting hit and not Sanctum because you have to realize, hey, extra deck, extra deck, new game mechanic. Um, this one card I flip over and put it on the board. Yeah, that says fucking new game mechanic. That says this whole turn you don't do nothing. Oh, next turn I do things, and <laughs> I don't know if Konami's gonna allow that to happen, but it's gonna be really interesting to see. Vanity's Fiend, another card to talk about that should be hit in the balance. I don't think it's going to be hit, but I really want it to be hit in the balance because it's Vanity's Emptiness on a monster form. Um, beautiful Ultra Remedy, by the way. Two bucks. Into the Void, a card you should, everyone should have a place set of. This card has a history of going to 30, going back down to nothing, going to 30, back to nothing. This card just loves going up and down. Uh, that's what she said. Anti Spell Fragrance, $1.49. I mean, it's relatively cheap, relatively, relatively cheap finally for Anti Spell Fragrance. Uh, uh, even so on Cyanide, night, I should do the German one, by the way. German one was like two bucks. Here's this English one for a dollar. I think everyone should own at least one English one on night. If it does come back in a meta, like it is an OCG meta, it's gonna be really make some waves. And then you got Zaffy and Time Lord, hype card is hype card. Uh, you know, different Adventure Ground, uh, Fan Knight Breaksword, uh, for my Burning Abyss plays, myself included. I have some of these because I love this card. I love that deck. Uh, Ray Raptors Force Tricks, Lulls. You know, real quickly, I, this is more of a personal thing. How much is Secret Ray Raptors Force Tricks? Pause the video and just say a number and then click continue. Uh, it's seven bucks. It was originally twenty forever, and now it's seven dollars. It's going to go lower price. I have I have a reference for Strix. I'm, I'm I have an order a German one coming. I'm waiting because I want to get a secret for myself personally. Judgment Dragon. Now, if you saw the German one, German Judgment Dragon was like two feet. And by the way, I I, I I I do not make no money from that. I do not make sponsors. I'm just telling you a good deal because I saw a good deal. Whether you take my take the information I give you and use it or you don't, it's 100 percent up to you. I'm just letting you know what I do and what gets me good trades. I'm just passing information to you guys. If you think it's dumb and you don't like it, that's totally fine. I'm just telling you what I do, and I mean it, it, it's just a good deal. Uh, Raging Tempest Booster Box is coming in about sixty one dollars, sixty two bucks really quickly. I mean, there's not much value anymore. I mean, the best card was Mirage, and when uh, when it came out, it came out like 50, spiked to 75 for a while, and then now slowly, and then it went slowly went down. Recently, it was holding about 35, and now it's hit about 13 dollars. It'd be hilarious if it does not hit a uh, uh, Zodiac. Just see players go.
Ugh, it went back into Zodiacs. I think it's just be fucking hilarious. Uh, Zodiac Dryhead's coming in about seven dollars. This was a $12 card. Foolish Bear Goods, it, it, it's, is it going up in value? Someone talked to me about this about uh, for Magic Bullets, and I was like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this for Magic Bullets, but I, you can't, I can't ignore the fact that it's still going to be a good card, and, it's gonna, and eventually it's going to have a deck that it's going to be good in. So, no, it actually went down a little bit in value, so it's about $7. Zodiac Broad was coming in at about $6, $7, not bad. Wind Witches are going up again, and, and they're going up. Oh, I mean, con, I, I, let me see what Price Trend says, because Price Trend, yeah, okay, good. Whew. Price trend says they're going good. You know when Big Mama Price Trend says they're going good, you know it's something. And I don't know, you gotta, gotta hit, hit, get on the top of this. Someone asked me about Grassroots Screener the other day and said, Hey man, should I buy Grassroots Screener? Should I pull the trick on Grassroots Screener? And I was like, No. <laughs> no. People are buying this because they believe it's gonna be off the ban list because in Japan, I think they have three in Japan, it could be wrong. I think it's gonna be hit, getting hit on their Japan's ban list. It's already hit on ban list. I don't think this card's gonna be released anytime soon. Can it be available in the future? Yes. Should you buy that for future reference? Yes. Should you buy it now? No. You buy it like two bucks. It's gonna be two dollars for Secret Rare. And most likely we'll have a reprint on that soon as well. See, Monster of Theseus is still a little bit high. I wanna buy it at threes, not around four fifties, fives. I mean, it's up to you guys. I own a couple already, but that's because I pulled them in packs. No, I mean, I, I'll, I'll wait if I was you guys. You know how I feel my full force viruses, guys? I own nine. I'm looking to open another nine soon. Uh, whenever it gets shipped here. True King, Luther Sagan, The Disasters. Actually, is it going up in price? Because, I mean, True King Dinos, as much as people say, and I, and I know a lot of people say they don't like it, but I think True King Dinos is going to be a real deck. In Japan, after Zoo is hit, after, uh, even with 60 card decks running around, True King Dinos won their nationals. It, it's, I mean, can we not acknowledge that? It beat over True Dracos. That's pretty interesting as well. Uh, price trying to show that it went up a little bit, went down a little bit, and now it's just stabilizing. The other one right here is about 750 so he's a little bit expensive, the other one. I think you run one or two of him. Uh, looking at the other zoo cards, everything else is normal. Lost Winds, actually a card you might want to pick up. If you don't have the playset in your binder for your own self, pick it up, guys. Your own self, own, your own little self a playset. Destiny Soldiers, uh, Booster Box is only about, what, 40, 54 bucks, 55 bucks? Eh, not bad, I guess. I mean, the only real card is Dark Lord Itch, y'all. That's like $19. She loves going between like $17 and $21 forever. This card should be going lower in price. I don't know why it's not going lower in price. Maybe because this hasn't had a, 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 any kind of re-re-release. Uh, that might be it. Um, you know, Dark Lord Nassin's about 6 bucks, and everything else is about like 5s, 4s, and it's basically not, not, you know, I mean, if you want, if you want to get Dark Lords, you gotta buy singles. There's no way you can buy packs and crack them and hope, hope to get the best, because there's not many of these packs around, and the odds of getting a good card in these packs are really rare. Dark Lord's boost boxes are 130 what is it, $130? Right? Yeah, a little over $130. Guys, what the fuck? Was it, $131? Ah, who cares? It's, it's a lot for something that, let's be honest, it, 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 it's not needed. Uh, it's just, oh god. Pot of Zayas getting a reprint coming in about 24 bucks. So it went down a little bit. It was at 28 for a while. I think that's because of Nationals hype, like I said earlier. Before Nationals, so you can see here going back down, guys. On price trends coming in about, what, 24 $25 for, for Pot of Zayas. It's going to go lower, guys. It's, kind of, it's probably going to be hitting about $10 eventually once everything settles as far as the reprint comes soon. Dark Magic Circle and Dark Magician Navigation. I tell everybody, sell these, sell these, sell these. These are a Mega 10 reprint. These are 100% of Mega Team reprint. Uh, reprint. Blech. Cosmic Cyclone. For those who didn't sell the Cosmic Cyclone because you're a hard to fuck, there you go. There you go. There you go. I've been talking about. Let me like camera. I feel like I'm a little bit. There we go. There. Look better. Do we look good? Do we look good, guys? Listen. Cosmic Cyclone, I told you. Trade your Cyclones and get ulti MSTs. I don't care if you think Cyclone's better. Oh, Cyclone's gonna lose value because it's getting a reprint. Here it is. Preprints have been is 100% confirmed now because I guess some people didn't 100% believe the YG organization uh, um, saying it was a reprint. 100% confirmed, guys, and look at the dip. And it's only going lower. You can't get rid of these fast enough. Coming in about $12, 13 each, and they're going to be lower, guys. This will probably sell to about four, four $5 card, maybe. Eventually, it'll be like $2, $3. Uh, Hidden City. Actually, did Hidden City go up? Or is that, is that just me? I thought it was $6 each. I think it went up a little bit. Yeah, Hidden City went up a little bit. I, I guess because people are getting ready for uh, the Subterra hype, I guess. Uh, I bought these a while ago. I think I paid about $6 for my Hidden Cities. Uh, there's a True King guy we talked about a little while ago. Coral, Coral Dragon's like $7. <laughs> Is there some kind of FTK combo that I don't know about? Yeah, look at that. Slowly creeping up. That's a slowly creeping Coral Dragon. It's trying to it's trying to increase in price without nobody seeing it coming. That's funny. I caught you, Coral Dragon. I caught you. Uh, <laughs> Spiral Super Agents, $6. I think it, it went hype and then went back down to being right. There it goes. Yeah, it went hype. 
went down that, that back down to like normal land and took hold of the duels comes out until we get the new spiral card whenever that fucking card comes out and that card by the way if you haven't looked at deck what deck uh, of uh, dual videos of spirals i urge you to check it out it goes plus 12. you think zoo's bad zoo ain't shit compared to spirals trust me watch fucking videos there's a kid in one of the youtube videos i watch he was doing it wrong and he was like i did it wrong one plus eight like i was like motherfucker man calm down so yeah uh i don't know uh, you know people another, another car people ask me should i get spirals should i not get spirals you know it's up to you man i just want i just want to let you know that it can do some pretty derpy shit nevada high pound slowly go up in value uh shooting is that another card that went up and is it going back down let me see yeah, here we go. It's, it's up and starting to go back down in price trends because Megatons are in here, boy. Megatons are coming, and Megatons are coming. Shouldn't we saw tickets put on a Megaton, which is going to be. It's, it, I'm 99.9999%. The only, only reason I'm not 100% because I don't work at Konami and, and I haven't been told by Konami that it's in there, but it's fucking in there. Come on, guys, please. Yeah, no, they're going to put Subterra Beh uh, Behemoth Umastrix in there, but no, none of this card, right? Okay, sure, come on. Let's be real. Uh, Fairy Tale Snow, three dollars and twenty-one cents. You do know this game reprint as super rare, guys, right? Like this is a super rare reprint. What are you doing? Shiny Victory Booster Box coming in at about one hundred and forty dollars. Who the fuck are you, Sun City Games? Who the fuck are you, Last Save Point? No one told you. Have you not heard the word? The bird is the word. Says this bird, Crystal Wing Single Dragon, ain't worth shit anymore. It's ten dollars. It was originally thirty dollars forever, but then I had a reprint. Sage Blue, Sage Eyes Blue, still eleven dollars. You're a true percentage of eyes of blue. Unfortunately, the reprint puts you down there a little bit lower. And by the way, the reprint secret rare. You're ultra rare. Adorable. Uh, blue eyes from Burst Dragon. Do I hear a Mega 10 reprint? Yeah, no, I hear a Mega 10 reprint. That's a Mega fucking 10 reprint. Ghost Reprint Winter Trade's coming in about $12, guys. Look at that fall off. People are afraid of it being a Mega 10 reprint. I'll tell you right now, if it goes to $8 and, and the Mega 10 reprint has, you know, the, the Mega Packs with the Mega Fruit has not been announced, I'm going to buy me some Ghost Reprint Winter Trade for $8. I, I still think it's a great pe buy and great pickup. Dragon Force is about $7. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that price point, but I mean, Dragon Mirror Force is a really good card, and ultimately, I'll probably be picking up this card myself. Cosmos, I, I, I did my live stream last night, which I talked about a lot of cards. One of them was just nothing with Cosmos. Uh, Dark Lace is a good card to pick up for $4. Uh, this, now, this stuff that was given to me by my live stream and people were talking about that. Raid Raptor Tribute Elanius uh, from Wing Raiders, guys, is $10, and there's only one left of them. Uh, one seller from Odos Gaming, and it's six of them. So if you have this card for sale, Oh, excuse me, I got fucking indigestion. Uh, if you have this card for sale, sell it for $9.98. Do the fucking prices right fisting. Sell it for $9.98, and, and I mean, you'll have the quick list on it. Look at the price on how it went up. Now, this might have been a buyout. I don't know why, but it, it might be it might be a buyout. But just listen for $9.98, because that'd be fucking hilarious. Uh, up next, Gozuki is a card that's actually been spiking up. Look at that. Look at that spike up in price trends. People seeing Vandreds. People seeing all the hype and all, all the stuff coming out for it. And people are getting ready for this. And I really do think that Gozuki is a good card, by the way. Uh, I think, that, I'm not sure if it'll be play to use. I have, I have a play set just for fucking buying the shitty dual saga and fucking pulling that with Gozuki's. But, I mean, it's up to you guys. Do you think, uh, you, do you, are you going to buy the Gozuki's? Or are you going to wait? Because this price is slowly going up. It's $1. fifteen right now. Uh, a little around a dollar fifty, you know, for this card, and I don't know, guys. I mean, other other zombie stuff had besides like Shuri Nui Sate really hasn't made crazy moves. Um, but I mean, are you gonna get your Gozuki now? You're gonna wait. Vendors look amazing to play. I always talk about Shuri Nui Sate. Okay, Gamasami Dual Terminal Two is really cheap, actually. It's about two bucks for a Dual Terminal Two Goblin Zombies. If if if, if you're gonna be expecting to play Vendors and you're looking at Goblin Zombies. For two bucks, you get the dual terminal two, dual terminal two, or you can buy the cigarette from Phantom Darkness for about five fifty for a limited edition. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, you know what? I'm curious. Let's see how much first edition costs. Its price point is a little. When it, it had a little bit of jump, not not too crazy of a jump. Um, is there any first editions? First editions? Calling all first editions? First editions is like eleven dollars. So yeah, no, non first editions is like five fifty. So it's up to you guys whether you want to buy that or not. Um. I don't know. It's it's really interesting to see. Like I'm I'm not sure what's gonna be used as far as zombies. Some people are saying the some cards are used. Some people are saying some other cards are used. And you're getting a lot of guys going, no fuck you. That's this card's used. No fuck you. No shit. This card's used. And uh, I don't know. Vengeance looks really fun to play though. That's what I only thing I do know. Billion fusions are going up in price. They're creeping up in price. And the reason this eight dollar card isn't a forty dollar card right now. The only reason. This $8 card is not a $40 card because of the Mega Tins. Because everyone's losing their goddamn minds over the Mega Tins pack. And we know it came out in 2016. No, I can't be for the Mega Tins. Why, people, why, people, why is this card not going up? Oh, the ban list, not Mega Tins. Uh, uh, it's 11 o'clock at night. I got like almost no sleep. Fucking deal with me, boys. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, the ban list. And people worried about this card getting hit in the ban list or some version of this engine dying on the ban list. This is a great fucking card. And I think that... 
you know, if, if you have a regions with Force of Temper, you almost have to play this card in your deck if you're playing anything with Lynx. Because this, this card just shits off free combos. Like, you just go free combo shit card dot go and just fucking shit you fucking sweet cards cards all day long so you let me know whether you want to play this or not i'm telling you right now if if, if you have somehow a regionals before the ban list um i don't know when the regionals are coming uh, gonna be coming up or not not posted for the new season but if it's if it's posted before the ban list comes out you're gonna want to play this and for eight dollars is not a bad price actually this one's saying about a little bit of almost nine x3 they're almost about nine dollars each guys the reason they're not so high because of the balance because people think they're gonna be hitting the balance myself included I want to talk about one quick thing, guys, and this is the last thing I want to talk about. This has nothing to do really with you yet. This has something to do with me personally. I'm looking to start creating playmats. Uh, I'm not sure who would like these playmats. I'm not sure if anyone would like these playmats, but I'm looking to create playmats. And I, I went on and I bought, well, I didn't buy it yet, but I, I set everything up to what I'm going to be spending just to see how these playmats will look, just to test the waters with these playmats, I'm probably going to drop about $500. Just to test the waters. I, 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 the machine I'm buying for the $500, by the way, is a very small scene, machine, I don't know, I'm working on words, bleh. very small machine, the leather is should be this, I'm not have to go around until I buy the product, it's the leather playmats, by the way, and they're going to have a design, something similar to like this, and you guys let me know if you like this or you don't like this, they're going to be uh, Yu-Gi-Oh playmats, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh type playmats, I'm not sure if they're going to be doubles or singles, um, I'm going to try to make them as cheap as possible, and um, I, if, as possible as I can make them, um, you know, make very little profit, because I'm, I'm thinking long term, not short term, and you guys let me know how you like, which, what, you know, what, what do you think, do you think you like these kind of playmats, do you, do you like leather playmats, have you seen a little playmat, you know, look around online, check it out, I think these, this is something very innovative, very unknown, and like I said, just to test the waters. And, and by the way, the founder house, I, you know, once I t test everything out, that that equipment is garbage for me. Like it's a small machine. I I I, I don't want to go into too much details about what machines and how to do it, but it's a very small machine, and it, it it's just gonna test it out just to see like you're designed to do properly. If that works, I already see another machine I'm gonna buy. Um, I don't want to say exact numbers. But it will cost me a couple of thousand dollars to buy this one machine. <laughs> so I'm looking very serious at doing this. And I just want to know if you guys are interested in something like this. Do you are you interested in something like Little Play Max? I I, I I want to do something. I want to I want the reason I'm buying the small one because I want to see how the art looks in a small one. If it looks the way I like it's gonna I like it's gonna look. If not, I'm out five hundred bucks, not as bad as a couple of thousand. Um I wanna check it out because if it looks nice, I wanna I wanna try to see how it works with cards, different card sleeves. I wanna get one of each card sleeves and I'm gonna go around to either go around the locals or, or just around the state or wherever or go around to other fellow players and say, Hey man, do me a favor. Uh uh roll this play mat, I wanna just play a game on it and it's, I just want your honest opinion, what do you think about this play mat and what do you think how does it feel playing on this play mat and how does it feel rolling up and whatnot. I have one of these personally myself and I love these play mats a lot. Uh, I have a Magic Gathering on it only because I have a, I have a Magic Gathering thing. I have actually the Chandra. This is Leon, if you know Magic the Gathering. And I just want to know what you guys think. I really want your honest opinion about this. Whether you, you, you'll like it, whether you'll hate it. I, I'm still working on it. I already know the design. I already know my first design. Um, I'm looking to hire an artist and pay an artist to do a design on it. Once everything's sent them, that's way in the future. I have to get the initial setup first, which is I'm probably dropping about five bills on this. And I mean, I have the money and. <laughs> My wife isn't too happy about it, but I'm looking to do this because I want to create a playmat that's innovative, something new, and something nice. I know we got some new companies coming out of nowhere, uh, uh, well, out of nowhere really, uh, making these cloth playmats, which really look nice. They really do. Um, I'm trying to do something innovative, and I'm trying to do something nice. I'm trying to offer you guys something that's longer lasting, that's more beautiful. Let me know if you guys like it or not. Um, like I said, this is this is one picture of how it looks like, but let me know if you like it. Also, I'm going on vacation uh, next week, I think I am, going on vacation. And let me know if you want me to vlog. I'm going to be going to some indoor water park, and I'm most, I might be going to Wizard World. Uh, if you guys want me to do a little vlog thing for it, I know you guys like my other vlog when I went to Nashville. So I'm not sure if you want me to do that as well. Comment below. Let me know what you can think about that, guys. Anyway, guys, your boy, if you can do this, my videos, that's my two cents.